Thank you for being with us. I'm Casey Nolan. And I'm Michelle Lee. That student says he's been the target of racial and homophobic slurs by members of one campus fraternity. As Robert Townsend reports, university officials are now investigating those claims. 18-year-old Arlon Van Hook is a sophomore and resident assistant at Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. The engineering student says for months, his experience at the university has been anything but pleasant. I've dealt with racism, um, hazing, and I've witnessed homophobic slurs. And that is not something that I personally stand for. Van Hook says since March, he's been the target of those incidents by members of a fraternity at SIUE. I have been told all African Americans live on welfare and just off of government assistance. I've been called the N word. Hazing, I was pulled on, pushed around in the dark woods. He now rarely lives in his dorm. I have not been on. Physically, no, but mentally, I'm going to counseling every other week. I'm just outraged. Last month, her son moved back home with his parents in Florissant. I want him to finish out his studies. He is thriving at this university. Megan Weezer, a spokesperson for SIUE, says university officials are investigating Van Hook's claims of racial and homophobic slurs from members of a campus fraternity. In a statement, Weezer says additionally, an investigation is underway regarding a hazing claim. Weezer also says this disrespectful behavior is unacceptable. University officials also say since becoming aware of the incident, SIUE police provided police escorts for Van Hook and issued a no contact order between him and all members of the fraternity. We feel very strongly that uh, you can't allow this to go by unaddressed uh, in a very serious way. On Thursday, Van Hook, his parents, and his lawyer will meet with university officials. I just want those guys to be held accountable. It's changed my life. Robert Townsend, five on your side. In the meantime, the fraternity has been placed on a cease and desist. Robert reached out to the fraternity's chapter president for reaction to Van Hook's claims, but the president referred him to the university.